Hello there, you beautiful people. In this section, we are going to talk about the Chinese words. We know that the characters are based on the pictures originally. So how does the word work in Chinese? Well, in this section, we are going to build some words based on the characters. And you will find it's pretty easy and fun. Now, before we jump into it, let's take a look at how many words do we need to learn in Mandarin. Based on the HSK Chinese proficiency test, to hold a basic conversation, you will probably need to know about 600 different words. However, if you want to reach a higher level, you will need to know about 5,000 words. Wow, 5,000! That sounds a lot. Well, it's actually not if you know how to build the words from characters. Without further ado, let's get started. Let's say we want to figure out the words for volcano. And what will you introduce to a friend who never seen a volcano before? Maybe you will say it's a mountain, but have fire, pretty hot. And in Chinese, we already learned the character for fire and mountain. 火 for fire, 山 for mountain. So, what's the word for volcano? 火山, fire mountain. That's it. We just create our very first Chinese words. 火山, fire mountain. And one day, you saw an owl. What word will you create for owl in Chinese? Um, it's a hawk but with a lovely cat head face. So cat is mao, head is to, cat head, mao to, and hawk is ying. So here you go, mao to ying, mao to ying, an owl. It's simple, we don't need even to bother to find uh, new characters for a different animal, just use cat and how we got the owl. Let's move from nature to our daily lives nowadays. What will you introduce a phone? Well, it will need electricity and you have to speak to the people on the other side. And the character for electricity is dian. For speaking is hua. Boom! We got electrical speaking dian hua, which means phone. Same for the television. We need electricity and vision, which is dian and shi. We got electrical vision, dian shi. So what for a computer? It needs electricity and it works kind of like a super brain. Yes, an electric brain, dian nao, which means computer. Let's take a look at more examples. Here comes a mobile phone, a machine that you will use by your hand. So it's called 手机, which means hand machine. For a headphone, it's called 耳机, which means ear machine. And how about a big machine that you can fly? <laughs> a fly machine, indeed. 飞机 for airplane. A wallet? Nah, we just call it money bag. 钱包, 钱包, money bag. How about a book bag? 书包 for book bag. 书包, 书 for book. And how about yogurt? What's it made from, from milk, and it's a sour milk. So yes, sour milk, suan nai, for yogurt, suan nai. And how about a lovely big beer cat? <laughs> yes, da xiong mao, for panda. It means big beer cat. How about the lovely pocket rat in Australia? Dai shu, pocket rat. Dai shu. And the long neck deer. 
长颈鹿，长颈鹿 in the Africa. Let's take a break on animals. Move to sports. How about a ball game play on a table? A table ball. 台球，台球 for pool. And here comes the popular one. What would you call a ball game that uses foot to play? Football, 足球，足球 For the American football, we call it olive ball, 橄榄球，橄榄球 It's olive shaped ball. That's it. So we can see that lots of words in Chinese are very simple and logical. Uh, we can build the words based on its looking and functions. If you are interested in learning more Chinese words, please leave a comment in the comment section and let's see how to call them in Chinese. Have fun learning, and see you in the next section.